Hi folks, this is a continuation of the SQL videos I've been doing uh, using the SQL in the click view script. So what we'll do is we, we've made a connection to a, an access database. We're then going to select the tables that we want. So we're going to select the product ID from the product table. We're going to select the Sales order ID, select these four columns, not product ID, we don't want that because we already have it from the product table. We click OK on that and we'll also select some details from the sales order header table. So we'll select these four fields. Again, what we want to do is just do a little bit of formatting on these. So to make it easier to read, so this is the way I do it, you can do it any way you want. So now we have our three tables or fields from three tables we need, so we'll copy that and we'll bring it into um, Notepad. And again, in Notepad, Plus plus, you can have you can choose the language and it will highlight the syntax based on that language. So we've got our tree here. So we've got our three tables: the product, sales order detail, and sales order header. What we can do is we can uh, tidy this up a little bit, and then we can actually alias these fields. So we're going to say product as T zero. Sales order detail as T1 and sales order header as T2. So, what we can do is we can copy T0, paste. It's okay for this because we're only taking the one field, but if we want, in, the reason why we bring them into Notepad is we can copy T1, we can hover over the force field, press Alt. Hold the left mouse and drag it down until you get that line, and then you can paste and then put in your dot. So now we're using this alias here, and we can do the same by copying T2, clicking just in front of the R, the revision number, hold down Alt on the keyboard, press your left mouse and click down, and then paste and then type in your dot. So now we can copy this in. We're only using t uh, three tables, but there's a lot more it makes sense to do it in Notepad because it's much easier. So now if we paste this and reload our script. So we press Control and T, you see we've got three separate tables, but we want to see them all as one table. So what we will do is We copy each of our fields. First thing is we're going to do it all in this table at the top. So we're going to say all tables. We're going to name this table. And within this table, we're going to uh, copy in our values. So we need to put a comma after product ID, a comma after special offer ID, and then copy and paste the fields that we want from. Uh, sales order detail and sales order header and then the next thing to do is actually we're going to take these fields from product and comma sales order id so, so we copy that paste and then we put a comma because we want to add our tour table which is sales order header We paste that so we no longer need these so we can delete these tables and then we have them all we're doing a sql select that's doing a join on these tables but we haven't done a join quite yet so we need to add a where clause so we need to say where uh, t0 dot product id is equal to the same again but it's t1 so we're going to join uh, the product with sales order detail on the product ID and we're going to join the 
sales order detail t1 dot sales order id with so i'm going to make that equal to the same but it's t2 which is sales order header so again we just have a couple of things to sort then we just need to make this a little bit more easier to read And then you copy this and just show you how it looks in. So you can see we're doing our seagull select these fields from these tables where we're joining on the product of D and sales already. So you come back into click view and press Ctrl and R or click on the reload button. This will reload our table, so press Ctrl and A and delete those. We create a table box. Add all our fields. You can see now we've got a we've got a new table which contains our product ID and all of the different information from each table. And again, what we could do is we could say and so we put in a word clause and there we copy t zero dot product is greater than or equal to, and again we can make it look obvious, greater than or equal to 750. So again, we reload the script, we can copy this into, into Notepad++ and we can see that it's it's reading the, the, the SQL syntax. Again, we press Ctrl and R to reload, and we should get We've got records here for the product ID uh, 755. So we said, let me just check what we've said. So greater than or equal to 750. So we should not get 707. So we press Control and R or press the reload button here. And see, we no longer have those records. So that's pretty much it. That's the next step in uh, using SQL in the ClickView. Uh, script engine, I hope that helps and I'll see you next video. Cheers.